this year, Rollhard have allowed the cars to be scattered all the way throughout the venue, which is very cool. Really cool to see it in the sun now, because we saw it indoors and it proper pops now. What is going on guys? Welcome back to Cast TV. Hope you're all doing well. We are here at one of our favorite locations in the UK again. We're here at Vista Heritage. Something a little bit different though, not our usual scramble events that we come to. We're actually here for Rollhard's main show. It's called Rollhard Vista Heritage. We were here last year. It was a little bit wetter last year. So it's a bit of a scorcher of a day here. I think we're gonna get a little bit hot. So we're gonna do our walk around pretty early on in the day. The cool thing about the show guys is that compared to scramble, Rollhard show is modified cars. So there are modified cars of all sorts going on here. Really, really cool cars, a huge mixture of brands, but we've actually noticed a lot more JDM cars here this year, which is pretty cool to see. We're also here, obviously, with the Slam Sanctuary stand behind me, and we have Airlift Performance. Obviously, Car Audio Security, we are the UK distributors for Airlift, so we have a stand over there. We've got a lovely Merc 124 on the stand. We have Raj's E36. M3 Evo behind me and we have my E34 540 Touring here as well. So enough of our own cars, let's go and check out what is going on inside the technical site. Let's go. Seems a little bit busier than last year. Really cool thing about Vista Heritage is the venue itself. It's an old school World War barracks sort of vibe to it. Very cool buildings, very nice landscapes. Basically the perfect opportunity for automotive photography. I'm a photographer, so I absolutely love shooting cars here. Jason behind the camera, videographer, loves shooting this place. And this year, Rollhard have allowed the cars to be scattered all the way throughout the venue, which is very cool. So this really is such an iconic location. And the fact that the Rollhard guys have got Vista to allow them for all us hooligans to bring our modified cars here is pretty damn cool. So good to see this car out. It's my mate Joey's BMW E36, uh, M3 lump in it. Um, very, very well-known car. If you follow him on Instagram, he's probably the Don of E36s in the UK. Um, he, got, he has that coupe over there as well. Um, but I'm super happy to see the convertible back out after a good few years. It's been parked up on his driveway. I think the guys at Weasel Works have just got it back on the road for him. He's um, had his gorgeous set of 17 to 18 stepped BBS RSs refinished, ceramic polished. Um, Arch Lip Fitman is an absolute vibe. Very, very cool car indeed. So the car used to be on a hydraulic suspension. He's now running full airlift performance setup on the car. Um, airlift 3P controller in there. But there's something about this interior, right guys? I think he's just had this Econolize or something. It looks really, really good, Nick. Um, Vader's uh, finished in red. Um, he's got a super rare AC Schnitzer steering wheel as well. Again, trimmed in red. And he's even got the lower dash. This is one of those cars, Joey's like a hoarder of E36 parts, so there, there are loads of super rare parts on both of these two cars. Um, I mean, even this, the hood cover in carbon fiber, super cool. Yeah, definitely one of the, probably the most famous E36s on Instagram for sure. So nice to see this thing back out. Really, really like this uh, Porsche 997 behind me. Running a set of what looked like BBS E88s, obviously go-to wheel for a Porsche 911. It's just simple, isn't it? Really nice GT3 Recaro's inside. It's just nice and clean, really. So I love the vibe that Rollhard have got going on here. This is their stand setup. And the cars on their stand just display what Rollhard are all about when it comes to like built, not bought. Um, they get involved with people that build the cars themselves. And cool examples here, obviously Mini, very cool. And the cars are all dusty as well, which is pretty cool. I think it shows that like homegrown vibe to them. But yeah, this is like fully built, man. You've got to take a look at the inside. Like 
caged, proper, proper race seats. This thing must be like pretty insane to drive. Very cool. It looks like it is turbocharged as well. That's pretty cool. Over fenders, arches, like proper old school, tiny little three piece wheels, which is very cool. And then guys, check this one out. It's a Mark 1 Golf four door. From the outset, it looks like a pretty standardish Golf. Pretty much looks like a barn find. I mean, the paint's seen better days, but I think he's into that. It's dusty, it's literally just been dragged out of the unit. Uh, but it's all going on in the engine bay, guys. So check this out, it's running a Honda B-Series VTEC lump. Pretty crazy, right, for a Mark 1 Golf. Loving the carbon intake as well. But I'm sure this thing is going to turn a few heads today. Nice and different, isn't it? And then on the complete other scale of things, this just shows the variation with the Rollhard brand. Got these two, and then check this out. Escort RS Cosworth race car behind us. What a thing. Thing of absolute beauty. OZ Racing wheels, obviously. Oh, loving the period OZ turbo fans. And oh, it's just insane. These cosy lumps. I mean, they've obviously gone to town on this. Look. Proper race car. Ready for the track. Oh, I love this car. So this car has been on my radar for a very long time. It belongs to a guy called Sam Wood. Um, actually took it over to the States with him when he lived in the States, shipped the car over and moved back to the UK a few years ago, brought the car back over with him. So it was US registered, now registered in the UK, which is cool. Just a really, really clean Mark II Jetta on air suspension, um, big bumpers, BBS RSs, and the interior is super mint too. He's running like an old school mama steering wheel and that's pretty much it. It's just really tidy, sits pretty perfectly. And it's a cool colour too. Like, what more could you want out of a Mark II Jetta? Uh, obviously, got custom colours E21 Group 5 replica. Done all the shows this year. Awesome build. Obviously, we've done a full video on this car. Um, I'll drop a link in the description and uh, check the card above me, watch that feature video. Very cool car, and you can see it's actually a fully built car, hand painted. So it's E21 heaven today, guys. Not only do we have the Group 5 here, check these two out. Doey and Ben's E21s, both on BBS RS's, air suspension. That's a picture right there. I don't really need to talk about these because they just look so good. I'll let the, let the video do the talking. Henry, are you going to pick one? I can't pick one because they're both mates of mine. <laughs> okay. They which both one hate you, me. Which one would you, which one's more you though? Well, probably the white, but Ben's one is engine swapped. He's actually got an M50 E36 engine in there. So that thing goes. This is more of a cruiser because it's got a stock engine. So they're both quite different cars, even though they look kind of similar. And obviously we saw this back at Fitted. Um, Misha unveiled her Merc 190E again with some little added touches. Um, I'll show you again in case you didn't see that video. So Misha's a incredible tattoo artist um, and she's done a bit of tattooing on her car okay engraving really cool to see it in the sun now because we saw it indoors and it proper pops now now check this out any bit of metal on the engine bay she's hand engraved this which is nuts and this is followed through on the whole vehicle any metal trim you see she's hand engraved it and this must have taken so long <laughs> i dread to think how long she spent doing this new wheels Side exit exhaust. The window trims are really, really popped in the sun, so it's very cool to see. You can really appreciate it when it's outside on a nice day. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think of Misha's build. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Billion 
Sarah's Porsche 993, 911. Looks like they've changed it up a bit. It's running a set of BBS LMs now. Pretty different to how it used to look on the Gembala wheels. I actually like both setups. I'm not sure which one I actually prefer, but it does look hard as f actually on the BBS LMs. I really actually really like it. Let me know what you guys think if you prefer the Gembalas. We'll throw up a little image. Uh, all the BBS LMs it's sitting on now. Both really, really tough looks, I think. But yeah, one of my favorite 993s in the UK. Super low as well, static, very cool. Tommy's Renault 5 GT Turbo, always a vibe to see this car. It's popping in the sun today. Love this thing. So many different little nooks and crannies and little areas within Vista Heritage and they've managed to fill them out with show cars. All these modified cars, which is so cool to see. See Amar's Polo, stunning thing. I'll oh, check this out guys. James's B5 RS4. Um, running LF Performance and a set of custom forged, I think they wrote it from LVSs. Um, this car has been on the scene for probably close to 10 years. Um, one of the original guys to bag V5 RS4. It's a beautiful colour combo. Love the green on the gold centres on the wheels. Very cool car. It's pretty much wagon goals, Audi wagon goals right there. Now this is an absolute thing of beauty, it's a Fiat 500, I have to say the thing is absolutely beautiful, I believe it's been built by the guys at JP Tuning in Leicester, obviously it's had a full resto, full paint, full interior retrim, really like the custom tiny little three piece wheels, really set off to a T. Check out this fuel tank in the front, loving the paint, custom paint on the fuel tank and it's even been retrimmed to match the interior, obviously open air. That's really nicely done too. And inside, yeah, 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 this is a vibe. Very, very nice. Just done tastefully, isn't it? And yeah, the engine bay again, very, very cool. The two little trumpets going on as well, love it. So I've just spotted probably one of the cleanest Marty goals I've ever seen in my life. It is lovely. One for palm. Look at this shaved bay. Engines are going to be completely redone. Oh, I can see why. It's done by the guys at JTEC who know their <laughs> So this has probably been built by JTEC. Very good guys when it comes to anything regarding engine building, full car restoration. These guys have got it going on. This car is stunning. On a set of uh, BBS magnesium wheels. The car's had a full retrim. It's got the old school Recaros with some looks like a Harris Tweed. All similar. CAE shifter, Momo steering wheel. Real nice. I think I'm getting a thing for like classic Vauxhalls now. <laughs> we saw a few cool ones over when we were in Alt Race and uh, really digging this Opel Corsa that's made the journey over from Belgium, which is pretty cool. Um, it's just cool, it's just retro cool, isn't it? Loving the three piece old school period correct Tramont wheels as well, which really work well on these old school Opels, I think. And I love the old school decals going on along the sides. Really cool. Yeah, not never been too sure about the uh, the beaded seat look, but I guess it's appropriate for this vehicle. I wasn't really expecting to see it a Saxo at a Roll Hard event, but we found two. One's like proper track toy, like being cut up, diffusers everywhere, cage, insane engine. And then check this out. This is proper out of the 80s, 90s, isn't it? Like this is proper retro. I don't think I've ever seen a cleaner Saxo in my life. Like it's actually mint. 
He's got a cage in it as well, bucket seats. Uh, and of course, the old school TSW Venom wheels. Like this will take it back for a few of you guys, I'm, I'm sure. I didn't think I'd ever say a Saxo looks cool, but this is actually like, yeah, I quite like it, to be fair. Check out this Toyota Hijet. It's like an old Japanese fire truck of some sort. It's just really cool. They obviously imported it over from Japan. It's mint. It's got some like banded custom steelies on it with huge Nankang AR1 tires, so semi-slicks, and Akropovic exhaust on it, which is just awesome. Nuts. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> Obviously gonna have to feature this, a man after my own heart. Uh, E34 540, saloon version of my own car. Uh, real nice on air suspension and a gorgeous, gorgeous set of BBS RFs um, with green center caps, which look banging, super nice car. Do you rock those wheels on yours? Yeah, I would give him a try for sure. Still think I prefer the ACSs, but I do love a good five spoke. RFs are nice wheels to be fair. So still walking around through these glorious grounds here at Bista Heritage. There's just so many different places we can explore. We walk around here all day, I think. We could walk here for multiple days and just like never gets old. It's just such a nice environment to be in. All the cars, hand-picked, very, very high quality. Really, really liking it so far. Check it out, I've just spotted Kaisel's Mazda RX-7. Last year, we got it in our video here at Roll Hard, it was wrapped grey. Um, he's just given it to a bodywork company and they've actually repainted the car in red again, as it used to be. However, I think it's a, maybe a Ferrari red of some sort. He's completely changed the red paint code Kaiser, I'm really glad you've uh, got it red again because it just it completely pops in the sunlight. It just stands out so much more. Really, really nice. He's obviously got a few of his own little um, LTO touches going on on the car, obviously. Custom front lip, side skirts and all that going on. Carbon spoiler. So it's running airlift performance suspension. It's running a custom set of 1552 three-piece wheels um, to imitate the BBS mags of the era. Um, inside, yeah, really nice custom airlift controller mount, along with a renowned steering wheel. It's a cool RX-7. This Merc is absolutely gorgeous. It belongs to Dougie. It's a W108, and I believe it's had like a ground-up restoration car really is stunning. The paintwork is immaculate. It's obviously running airlift performance suspension, slammed, bag bends, slammed on the ground. Come and take a look at the interior because it is absolutely gorgeous. And the steering wheel has all been refinished. It is actually stunning. All the trims, the wood trims, all around the car are immaculate. And it's open air. That's pretty freaking cool, isn't it? Yeah, I really like this. This is a pretty much a perfect W108. You, you couldn't do much more to this. Done really, really nicely. And it's a 4.5, so some beans to it too. Very, very clean Mark 1 Caddy on some custom, yeah, they look like custom Volkswagen three-piece splits. Nice. Recaros. Looks like it's on manual custom air ride. Cool 
photo opportunity here. Another bad Benz. It looks like a 108 as well. Pretty much stock looking car, but it's obviously down on air suspension. It is cool to see how like Dougie's car is like restored from the ground up. Uh, completely mint, looks amazing. But then you get a patina car, like even the roof up here, all this patina. Even these look badass when they're laid out on air suspension. And just goes to show like you can either be into one or the other. And that's the cool thing about Roll Hard, they accept everything. So you've got yeah, patina style, bad bends, and then you've got Dougie's immaculate perfect one. And they both look equally stunning, I think. They're both super cool. So guys, that pretty much sums up our coverage from Roll Hard Bista Heritage 2022. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, me and Jason have really enjoyed walking around the incredible grounds here at Bista Heritage. Still remains one of our favorite locations here in the UK. And uh, you can see why, it's just stunning. Such a beautiful venue. I highly recommend coming to any of the Bista Heritage scramble events that they do here. And of course, Roll Hard Show for 2023, which I'm sure they'll be announcing very soon. So guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what your favorite car was from the video. I uh, really want to hear your thoughts. Um, are there any cars you'd like us to focus more on? Do you want us to focus on maybe more Jap cars? Then if so, drop a comment below and we'll do that for you next year. Um, in the meantime, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button right now because it pushes us up the algorithm in YouTube and helps us bring you more cool content. Uh, share it with your mates. And of course, the most important thing, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. If you are subscribed, Thank you guys so much because we've been able to do all these super cool events throughout 2022 and hopefully we'll be doing even more next year. We've got a few, a few small shows left on the calendar so we'll see you then. See you later guys.